in today's video I'm going to show you how to lose weight fast. Before we get started, if you're new around you, I'm Adele, I'm on a journey to lose £100, I'm about £70 in and the system that I'm going to share with you today is the system that I've used to lose the last £70 and the one that I'm going to use to lose the remaining £30 of that journey. Now if you're wondering what that journey actually looked like, this is me in the beginning and then me in the middle and obviously as you see me today. Now the steps that I'm going to go over today, I'm also going to be going over in the coming weeks over on this channel. So if you are new around you, consider subscribing if you want to follow along with this challenge as well and you want to see exactly how I do this on a week-to-week -week basis, then hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss one of those videos and let's get into those steps. I want to go over some myths first because I think there is so many diet myths around there and I think a lot of people say a lot of things but from my experience these are some of the myths that I've busted myself personally. First of all, weight loss does not equal health. I have learned that better than anybody because it's the food that you put in, the movement you do that actually makes you healthy, not necessarily the weight you're at. The second myth is that you need to exercise in order to lose weight. This is not true. You could lie in bed all day and still lose the weight, provided you were eating less than your body was taken to use. Uh, what I will do is I will leave a link to a calorie calculating video that I've done previously, which will show you what your basal metabolic rate is. That means the energy your body uses before you've even blinked in the morning. And then you can see why actually you don't need to exercise in order to lose weight. The next one is that actually certain plans will help you lose weight better. And the truth is it doesn't matter whether you choose calorie counting, weight watchers, slimming world, intermittent fasting, OMAD, you name it. It really doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is following a plan that you can actually stick to. Because do you know what? We're all individual. Our journeys are unique. So you have to do you. The final myth is a little bit controversial. So don't come at me. This is my personal experience. A calorie is not a calorie. A sin is not a sin. A point is not a point. Whether you choose whole foods or processed foods, your body does process them differently whether you like it or not it is a biological fact if you eat a carrot it can use all the carrots nutrients in order to fuel your body if you have a pack of crisps there's not a lot in there your body can actually use other than the actual energy calories itself which is then stored in your cells to be used as energy or laid down as fat just saying just saying Anyway, that was the last myth, so on to the steps. So, the plan itself. It's really important to actually plan before you start. Do not jump onto your weight loss journey before you've done the first two steps. I can promise you I have learned the hard way on this one. So, step number one and week number one is actually getting back into a routine. Now, if you're wondering why this video is a little bit late, it's because I'm already in the process of my week number one. And that is actually resetting myself. So, don't worry if you're in the same position where you haven't started yet, or you have and you've come a little bit unstuck, then you are in the right place. Because step one is just for you. So, I've intentionally delayed the start of getting back on to plan and the reason is is because I've literally just gone back to work and I know full well from lots of experience of holidays and Christmas holidays and summer holidays that actually the first week back requires you to just get back into your routine because you know what you're still in holiday mode there may still be too much of that holiday food around having to get up early and go back to work is, you know what, it's just challenging enough. And the final step is, you know what, sleep is usual over the place. And I have realised by now more than ever that you do not make a good decision when you are sleep deprived. So take the first week to reset yourself, allow things to settle down, to clear out that food, to get back to work, to take the pressure off yourself. Because the last thing you need on a weight loss journey is to have your focus somewhere else. 
Step number two, and that is actually make the plan. Now, don't be tempted to roll week two and week one into each other because you definitely need week one to reset yourself. And actually, week two, the planning week, is going to be a little bit more challenging than you actually give it credit for. So, slow down at the beginning so that you can speed up at the end. When I talk about the plan, I'm actually talking about the food plan, the eating plan, because whether you like it or not, this is what it boils down to. It boils down to the food that you actually put in your mouth. Yes, there are lots of external factors that affect it, I agree, but the plan, in a sense, is the food, the food that you eat. Now, I follow a four-week plan, and this is something that I really played with at the end of last year, and actually, worked so incredibly well and that's why i'm sharing it with you today is because i know from experience it works and it helps you to lose the weight fast so you can do a two-week plan three-week plan four-week plan it is entirely up to you it largely depends on how much variety you like in your diet if you're not that bothered about too much variety then maybe a two-week plan would be good for you if you're somewhere in the middle a three or if you like quite a lot of variety then a four-week plan will probably be the best. The reason I do a four week plan is because I do diet cycling. And if you're wondering what that is, I will leave a link to the video above and that will explain it in a, in a bit more detail than I am going to today. So I do three weeks at a deficit and one week at maintenance. Like I said, check out that video and that will explain everything. So for me, I do a four week plan. It's what fits with that diet cycling. If you don't know where to start with that meal plan, then here are some simple steps you can follow. Step number one is to make a list of all the breakfast, lunch, dinners and snacks that you currently eat. The things that you eat day in, day out, the things that you eat on the repeat, things that you really enjoy, things that make up your current eating pattern. Step number two is to take those meals and fit them into your chosen meal plan, whether it be a two week, three week or four week, Fit them all in, give yourself the variety that actually works for you. Step number three is to then take your chosen weight loss plan, whether it be calorie counting, Weight Watchers, Slimming World, whatever that happens to be, and work out the values for each of those meals so that you know they actually fit into the plan that you have chosen. Step number four is to tweak what doesn't work. If you've done that and you've realised that it's putting you about 200 calories over, on your day then look at the ways that you can actually take out or make reasonable swaps for food that's currently there step number three is to actually start the plan and that is your first week of your weight loss plan the one that you've just made the one you've already figured out your calories or points or sins for and is to actually get started now what i want you to do and this is crucial so please don't skip it because Step four actually relies on it. And that is to keep a journal, to keep notes, whether it be in your phone, in a notebook, every single day to really look at what has worked and what has not worked on a daily basis. Now, this is really, really crucial for your success going forward. So please don't skip this step. Every single day, think, okay, what went well today? What didn't go so well? What was challenging? What did I enjoy? What didn't I enjoy? Because these are going to be crucial going forward. Step number four, it's way in time. Now this is where your journal is gonna come in really, really, really useful because this is gonna show you your highs and lows. You'll be surprised how easy it is to forget the challenges you had through the week. So now is the time to look back over that journal look at what didn't work so well and make those tweaks for next week. Now, if you want to turbo boost your weight loss, then you're gonna wanna watch this video next. Bye guys.